y'all, this is Papaya from Papaya Pythons, and we're going to talk today about our sunbeam snake's skin. So you can see that Apollo shed his skin here, and it's sort of all lumped together like a little accordion. And so we're going to take this out and spread it out and take some microscope pictures of it and show you what their scales look like. So yeah, when you're pulling it apart, it's really, really delicate. Most of the studies on snake skin are about permeability, but they do show that there are differences in thickness even within one snake between the ventral and dorsal side. So I think it's very possible that these guys just have actually thinner skin or a different complex of skin than other species of snakes. You can see that these scales, when they separate from his shed skin, they're just sort of multiple layers together. Um, but once we get it separated, you can see his face, which is really cool because they have a lot of specialized scales there. And you can see how long it is, even though it looked really small. He's actually quite a large male. And you can see that the ventral and dorsal sides are distinct. And then his eye caps are really cool. And of course, you always want to check for eye caps. And his nostril scales are also really interesting. So we looked primarily at two types of scales, the dorsal lateral which are the side and the top. And those have this interesting shape to them. It's sort of like if you thought about putting your foot into a sock. That's how the scale fits into the skin. So we're just looking at a picture of the sock kind of from one angle. And it looks very flat, but there's that second line there. And that's where the scale would fit into that pocket of skin. And then the other scales we looked at were the ventral scales. And those are the ones that are on the bottom and those help to move the snake forward. So these are much wider and they have a very different shape, a very different pocket, and you can see that they're more shallow in the other dimension. And these are just dissecting microscope pictures, so there, there's no special light or anything on these. Then we also thought it would be neat to see a picture of the skin before you spread it out. So this is when it's in that accordion phase, and you can see that the cell types are still distinct, but they're all sort of nested together. For more videos like this, follow us, subscribe, and don't forget to check out our website. Thanks all!